My name is David Chancellor. I'm the owner and operator of Climb So Well. Climb So Well is an indoor rock climbing gym uh, located in Lafayette Square. We occupy about 10,000 square feet and we share the building with an event space and a rooftop restaurant. Climb So Well is a wonderful uh, fitness activity geared for beginners all the way to advanced climbers. Basically, if you can climb a ladder, you can climb the walls at Climb So Well. Staff will help you into a rock climbing harness, fit you without climbing shoes, and give you a facility orientation. So basically, no experience needed. Just show up and we'll get you climbing. Uh, so one uh, opportunity came up with the SIUE Climbing Club and their wall is temporarily under construction uh, and renovation with the campus. So we were able to lend a hand and offer the students a, a, a deal here so they can come over, climb, and stay fit until their wall is done. SIUE has been a wonderful partner from us from day one and we're excited to continue this relationship. So the climbing gym is really a creative expression of, uh, of ourselves. Instead of uh, creating sort of um, outdoor cliff, sandstone, granite, limestone, we've created more functional art pieces that people can climb. So one of our uh, walls looks like a big overgrown elephant. We have another uh, wall that resembles a big giant eyeball. The eyeball is literally the size of a minivan and has big eyelashes that accent this art piece. Uh, and one of our other walls is actually an overgrown tulip. It's a big flower. So these interactive sort of climbing experiences helps really cultivate a community that loves, enjoys, and being part of, uh, of the process. So like, tell me exactly what it was looking at. Yeah, so coming out here to So Will is a, it's a great workout. We uh, bring our climbing club, SIUE, out here. Uh, we come out here probably once a week or so, um, get on the wall. We go all the way to the top, climb as much as we can. Um, goal is to try and get our difficulty, the rating up. It's not so much about speed, it's more about how hard can you climb. And that's a big misconception in the, the climbing world. A lot of people that don't climb think it's all about speed, and it's, uh, it's definitely not. And there's quite a few of us that they get pretty good. Uh, we do competitions all the time. We entered the So Will Showdown, a competition here at So Will, and uh, we had a few people place this year. We had two people place first and second in, in beginner and intermediate. So they're, they're modifying our wall, they're updating it, they're putting new lights in. And in our club we have probably between 50 and 60 members right now, so it's a pretty good group. So we go to Jackson Falls, it's in Southern Illinois, but we've been all across the country. We've been to Utah in Moab, we've been to Arkansas, Horse Pins 40, we do a few competitions down there. Uh, we've, been, we've been all across the country really doing competitions and just free climbing. The route was mostly slopers, which means you can't wrap your hand all the way around it. It would be like grabbing onto a shelf. Their slopers are more difficult than jugs or crimps, which is where you can put your fingers all the way around it or in it. Uh, and there's a lot of heel hooks, as, it, as you saw, where you use your heel as if it were uh, another hand. So you can put it in there and you can lock yourself against the wall as a thir third or fourth hand. Slope definitely makes it harder. You are more leaned back, which puts a lot more strain on your upper body. Um, that is where the heels really come into play, because it's hard to hold your, your body against the, the wall with just your hands. So your heels really come into play there.